Corporations often get involved in projects that lead to human rights abuses in far off corners of the world because they think nobody's watching, because they think the victims of these abuses have no recourse. Unical, a U.S. corporation, and Total, a French oil company, went into partnership with the Burmese military dictatorship, a pariah regime. Actually contracted with them to provide security. Our clients were villagers who were forced to work for the Unicals pipeline, often at gunpoint. In this David and Goliath struggle against overwhelming corporate power, litigation is the slingshot. We are working with lawyers in Southeast Asia, in Amazon, in West Africa. We help them to bring their own cases. We use legal tools to give people who have been victims of human rights violations the opportunity to take on corporations and win. The idea of training community leaders in human rights and the environment grew into the Earthrise School. They live in our school for nine months and then spend a month back in their home countries researching the urgent human rights and environmental problems in their communities. We're training emerging leaders from Burma, Thailand, from China and Tibet, Cambodia, Vietnam and Laos. They will be able to advocate for their rights. We are here to ask Chevron to be responsible for what they did. When corporations are operating abroad, they need to know that they will be held to account. They don't think that a community in the farthest corners of the Amazon or in the Niger Delta can obtain legal counsel and can bring them to court. In the end, we hope that the fear is in them and that it will just become sound business sense to not be complicit in these kinds of abuses. The movement for Earth rights represents the light of hope. We must make this light burn brighter.